what does it actually take to lose one kilogram of body fat? Let's go. Hi, I'm Alexa, sports dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my channel. Great to have you here. Today we're talking fat loss, but more specifically, what does it actually technically take to lose one kilogram of body weight? Specifically, obviously, from body fat. Well, it comes down to science and math at the most fundamental level. So let's break it all down. Let class commence now. One kilogram of body fat has roughly 7,700 calories. Therefore, to hypothetically lose one kilogram of body weight, you need to be burning off, so to speak, 7,700 calories. And if you wanted to lose one kilogram in a week, you'd have to then be in a 7,700 calorie deficit for that week. In more practical terms, it could look like a 1,100 calorie deficit per day across a seven day period. But I know what you're thinking. Are you serious? 1,100 calories less than what I'm already eating now? Especially considering that you very well could be one of the many people who are actually eating not a high calorie diet at all. Well, let's look at something a bit more realistic because the previous calculations were, well, probably not ideal for most people. So if we grab the 7,700 calories divided by two to get, then aim for a half a kilogram weight loss in a week, you're now looking at 3,850 calorie deficit that you need to be in to lose hypothetically one kilogram of body weight from body fat, of course. This could translate in practical terms to a 550 calorie deficit per day across that seven day period. Now, that seems a lot more manageable, a lot more realistic, and a lot more in line with probably what you were maybe thinking. However, it still needs to be said that this is all general guidance. This is all just the mathematical and scientific breakdown of what it actually takes to lose half a kilogram or a kilogram of body weight in a week. But this is all assuming that there's no other you know, confounding factors, assuming perfect execution of the nutrition strategy, assuming no other health issues going on, no hormonal imbalances. Basically imagining the most simple, straightforward journey, which is never gonna be realistic when it comes to fat loss. But that's okay, that means you don't have to stress over whether you're losing one kilogram every week or half a kilogram. Just do it at your pace. Make sure you're actually progressing and tracking along over time and be implementing systems and strategies and, and dietary practices that are actually sustainable for you that go in line with your preferences. Because I can tell you right now, losing weight, yeah, let's say it's easier and all, but regaining weight is just as easy as that, if not easier. And I've seen it time and time again of people losing weight and then regaining it because it's so easy to do that. I probably shouldn't even say it's all easy. It's more simple, but not necessarily always easy. But if you wanted to know the most basic fundamental breakdown of what it actually takes to burn body fat, it is literally looking at how much is in one kilogram body fat or half a kilogram of body fat, and then kind of breaking that down across the weeks and across the days and creating calorie deficit that's consistent. And you can use this as a benchmark, the, the terms that I've used today or the figures I should say that I've used today, you can use it as like a, as a benchmark to see where you stand. Remember, it's not customized to you. So if you want a more individualized approach, saying it's actually tailored to you and get the guidance and accountability that comes with that, let me know, okay, in the description notes below, you'll be noticing that there is all my contact details. Contact me there, shoot me an email or send me a DM on Instagram and just let me know that you're looking for help and we can start seeing if we're a good fit and start working together towards your fat loss goals in the right way. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope this video has actually given you a bit of insight in terms of what it actually takes to lose one kilogram of body fat because it really does come down to science and maths, but in practical terms, there are other factors we have to consider and that may influence you know, how fast or how slow you actually lose the weight or what your specific goal is. Either way, hit the like button if this has been helpful, if it's giving you some new insight. And if you've got any questions about this, feel free to comment below, okay, comment below and let me know. Until next time, stay classy, have a good one, see you later, bye.